guys. So my hair is kind of crazy right now, but I am deciding to dye it again, again. The first time that I dyed it, I bought, I buy these like little boxes that you can get from pretty much anywhere, like Walmart, Target, I'm sure has it. Uh, any place that has like beauty sections, so like Walgreens and any of your local supermarkets, I'm sure even have it too. So the first time that I got the dye, I was really, really nervous to go dark, so I got something that was a little bit more auburn, something close to the wig color, but I was kind of going more along my skin tone. So I realized that it just somehow, when it was actually my hair, it wasn't, it didn't really look that good, so then I wanted to dye it again, and I got a little bit of a darker brown, which is kind of what it is right now, and I realized that I don't really like it because now, I mean, I like, I like it, but it's turning blonde already so you can't really tell from the camera especially now that it's, it's very dark so it's late afternoon but because my natural blonde is kind of showing through I buy stuff that is ammonia free and temporary color so because of my blonde hair the washes however many times I'm washing it the dye is kind of coming out so rather than it turning blonde because it's brown it's kind of turning back to that auburn color so I thought it would be kind of interesting to go really dark this time and I'm also deciding to do this because we're leaving for Florida tomorrow and I just think it would be kind of funny to for once see what it see what I look like as a dark haired dark skinned Italian so I always like make fun at myself in other videos and I'm sure like I've done it in my vlog videos that I'm pretty much the whitest Italian with blue eyes and fair skin and blonde hair and it's just funny that people think I'm like Swedish or something so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to dye your hair yourself and I would recommend having someone with you the first time because I didn't really know exactly what I was doing so hopefully this video will kind of get you guys a little bit more familiarized with the process and hopefully you will not be as nervous as I was because the thing is it wasn't even the process I just didn't know if I wanted my hair to look darker because I've always had blonde hair so I got dark brown and it's number 28 so it's, it's Clairol, Clairol and you have to make sure that it's natural instincts this is if you want to do like temporary diet this is not permanent so it says at the bottom 10 minutes healthier looking fresh color so again it says ammonia free right there so you definitely have to make sure that it says ammonia free and it says it lasts 28 shampoos at the bottom so it's a temporary dye so again I'm not dyeing it temporary er, forever I'm just doing temporary and this is what the little kit looks like so I'm a little nervous because again like it is I mean it is kind of dark but I just I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like darker so we'll see and also it says that you shouldn't wash your hair the day before so that's why it doesn't really look that fabulous right now but um don't wash your hair the day before I wouldn't recommend washing it the day before and then after you put the dye in it, it you shouldn't wash your hair right after either because otherwise it kind of messes up the pigments in your hair so let's do this okay so I'm in my bathroom right now and I'm not going to show too much because I still have to do a room tour and I can't unfortunately again because a we're leaving for a week vacation and two I still have my closet all disorganized it, there's just been so much mess and so much going on so um, yeah I'll, sh I'll do a room tour after but you can probably tell that the walls are pink so this is kind of a sneak preview I have a pink bathroom yes but anyways so let me show you guys what to do and I'm I'm getting nervous. I like, I want to do it. And this happened two times before that I did this too. I was like, oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want it to be too dark. Because I don't know what it's going to look like. And then after I did it, I was like, oh, you know, it took me a day or two to like kind of get used to it. But <sighs> I just thought I would share this experience with you guys. So this should be fun. All right. So this is one of the little kits in here. And the gloves should be in here. Yes. These are the gloves, so I'm just like taking the little components out. So these should probably be the gloves. And this is week two color fresh. Adds color pigments back to your hair. So I don't usually use this because it's pretty much just if you're dyeing your hair back to the color that it, it was, or if you want it to remain like this for a long time, then you can kind of refresh the color. But because I don't want this to be permanent, I don't really care. I mean I don't want it to last forever, I just kind of want it to last for a little while, but actually this was not, what is this? This isn't the gloves. What is this? Oh, a little bag? Oh no, they are gloves. 
Oh, you know what? They probably give you, yep, they give you a second pair of gloves because of this. But the one, the ones that were wrapped up in the paper are the ones that I'm going to be using now. So I'll just show you guys what the directions look like. And I, I'm kind of, again, I've done this twice before, so I'm familiar with it. But basically, it just says helpful hints. FYI. Apply color to dry hair that is free of styling product buildup. Do not shampoo immediately before coloring as the scalp's natural oils help to protect it during coloring. Have a clock ready for timing. Put on gloves. Gently, co gently comb hair. Put towel around shoulders to protect clothing. Something that I probably should go do. Although, you know what? I did this last time and I didn't really get it on myself, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, so the first part is tear off. Okay. So basically, you're going to want to take, this is step one and step two, three. This is actually, you know what, step three is the conditioner. Yeah, color treatment conditioner. So you're going to want to keep this in your shower at all times because your hair is very sensitive. Again, like it said, as soon as you're done coloring it. So it's best to use special conditioner that is made for color treated hair. So what you're going to do is... It comes with a little bottle like this. You're basically just going to be pouring this step number one into step number two. So it comes with a color activating cream like that. And then this one is color enhancing colorant. So let me read you the actual directions. So step one, mix and shake. Apply weight and then rinse and condition and then refresh. So let me just get started. So now what I did before is I kind of wet my hair a little bit. I kind of made it damp. So that's why I'm wearing a tank top right now. So I just find that it's easier. So I'm gonna just like put water in the roots and make my hair just a little bit damp right now. And I am shedding. Cool. Uncap step number one. Oh my goodness, this is really happening again. And you're going to unscrew cap number two. And then just pour in all of the color in here. You'll notice that step number two, the little bottle, has like a little nozzle there, so keep it there for now because you're gonna shake this. So you guys know that I talk way too much, as you can obviously see from this video, and it was taking way too long for me to actually speak what I'm saying in this video clip, but the general gist of it is that I start putting the color in the roots and then I scrunch my hair up in a bun on top of my head and just basically massage the color into all of the roots and into the hair. So it's been 10 to 15 minutes. You can leave it in as long as you think, but I guess no more, no longer than 15 minutes because the box says 10 minutes. But this is what it looks like right now. So you can see it's, it looks really dark. So the next step is to wash out the color. And again, I would suggest doing this step with someone else as well. Um, my mom is going to just help me rinse out the color and I'm just going to make sure that I shield my eyes because you really need to be careful that loose pieces of hair don't come and like fling you in the face. So close your eyes as tightly as possible, even if you have to kind of cup your face with your hands and have someone rinse out the color and then get a small size towel and like I said, you're going to be using this color treat conditioner. So as soon as I wash out the color, then I'm going to be using this. So let me show you. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm actually going to be washing out the color in the sink because our sink is really, really deep. I really, I wouldn't suggest doing it in the shower, especially, not even that, but it also might get like all over your body. So I really wouldn't suggest that. So try doing it in the sink, either in the bathroom or I guess in the kitchen if you want. But. Okay, so that is the process. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. And I just smudged my mascara everywhere because I should have brought my face soap down to wash my face. So I'm going to go take a shower and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's dry. But I can already tell that it's so much darker. And um, that was pretty much just the procedure. So I towel dried it after the conditioner. And um, I think I'm actually going to trim pieces of it because I have a lot of really bad split ends. Um, and then I will show you guys what it looks like at the end. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. I still have no makeup on. This fluorescent light is making me look even paler than I am in real life, I swear, because now it's almost 8.30 at night, so I don't have any natural light, so I look even paler, but this is the color that it turned out to be, so looks like I'm officially a dark haired person. I don't think I like it as much as I thought I would. I think I was being a little bit too ambitious this time and I probably, since it was already brown, I probably should have gotten like another brown to put on top because it would have made it look brown instead of black. So I don't know. I don't think I like it. It's too dark. But I was happy to bring you guys along for the ride and we'll see how long it stays like this. I might keep it for a while, see if it starts to fade, but I'm hoping that by the time we get back from Florida that I will be Tanner and I will show you guys what I look like after Florida, but I'm going to probably be, probably as and I will be making videos while I'm there, so expect a tour of the hotel um, that we're staying at and expect a bunch of videos on my vlog channel. How bad does it look? Like seriously guys, I mean I have no makeup on, I probably should have like prepared myself. And I'm saying like so much because I'm just completely dumbfounded. I look, look so pale and I'm gonna stop talking now so we'll see how it goes with makeup on and tanness. But uh... My skin's like red and blotchy from getting out of the shower right now, so it looks even worse. I'm going to stop talking and looking like awful in the camera. So, yeah, but that was the procedure to get this done. So don't make a mistake like I did and get the wrong color. Alright, well I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Thank you.